Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Hits and Shits video. So in today's video, we're doing the April Hits and Shits for 2019. Um, I have actually rediscovered a couple of products um, that I was like, damn, how did I forget about you? There's also some newies and we obviously have a couple of products that just did not work out at all. So yes, basically if you are new here, um, this series is all of the products that I have been loving and hating over the last month. It's basically my monthly favorites. So yes, if you were interested in watching that, then please stick around. All right, so first up, I've got a foundation and this is actually one of the products that I used to love and swear by that I have recently rediscovered. Um, I probably, when did I film that rediscovery video? I know it might have been like two weeks ago. It may or not be on my channel yet, but it's a video basically where I do a full face of makeup using products that I used to be obsessed with that I've kind of like forgotten about. Um, this was one of the foundations that I came across while sort of going through my collection and figuring out stuff that I used to absolutely, you know, swear by, like just use every single day that I just don't use anymore. And it was this one. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now, firstly, this is a very, very, very expensive foundation. So let's just get that out of the way. Um, I remember when I purchased this originally, and it's even more expensive here in Australia. I remember when I purchased it originally, I was like handing over my card. I was like, oh, this hurts. Like it, it does cost a lot of money, but the effect and the result that this gives the skin is absolutely beautiful. Now it's not a full coverage foundation. This is more of a medium coverage. You can definitely add concealer though to amp up the coverage and to cover up, you know, redness, under eye darkness and things like that. But it's so beautiful, soft and lightweight on the skin and it just smooths everything out. It gives the skin the most beautiful. It's kind of like a it's not like an all the way glow. It's a luminosity, kind of like exactly what the name is. It does look like luminous silk on the skin. It's just beautiful. Um, and now that I've, you know, now that I've used it again and I, I've pretty much been using it ever since. Oh, look, not every single day, but I have been using it ever since I filmed that video and rediscovered it. It's just gorgeous. So if it's a foundation that you've been looking into, you weren't too sure. I like, I really, really like this. For my oily skin babes, it's not going to get you, you know, a full 12 hours of wear. Um, it definitely definitely is one that's going to get shiny and it is going to need touching up, but it doesn't cake or separate. So I'm pretty happy. You know, I'm, I'm, I feel comfortable in the fact that I have to touch it up because I just know that it looks so beautiful on the skin. Very, very impressed. And so nice that we're back together again. <laughs> I do have another foundation here. This is the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. And alongside that foundation, I also have the concealer. These are absolutely beautiful, really, really nice products, very light on the skin. They make the skin look beautiful and just so good for everyday wear. Now these do have a bunch of other ingredients. Um, I know that they're anti-pollution, they're antioxidant, anti-blue light, they are oil free which doesn't really mean anything at all. Um, and then the concealer's got caffeine for brightening under the eyes. Like I just, I really truly think that this is a beautiful, beautiful range. I love the way that it looks on the skin. I love, it's just so soft and lightweight and it's beautiful for everyday wear. I wouldn't necessarily be recommending this for those of you who want to wear like a foundation at nighttime, if you're going to be in flash photography, if you're wanting like super, super full coverage, this is not going to be for you. But for everyday wear, I absolutely love these. Really nice. Next up. I feel like I couldn't create my April hits and shits without talking about this product because we finally launched this in April. You guys, I have worked on this product for over 18 months and I have not been able to show it or talk about it and it has been the hardest thing ever. If you go back and look through all my videos, I do not mention the setting powder. I do not list a setting powder. Like I pretty much quickly powder my face like in secret um, and then continue on with the video. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I have just launched a brand new setting powder under my brand, Nakia Joy Cosmetics. This is the Velvet Finishing Powder and it is just, oh, it is my absolute baby. This is an extremely lightweight setting powder that will blur the skin and control oil and shine for up to 16 hours. But it's not only a setting powder, it's also skincare. This contains a bunch of really amazing ingredients that hydrate the skin and protect the skin like antioxidants, vitamin A, vitamin E, aloe vera, and we've got coconut aminos, so many amazing things in this. So not only will it actually, you know, control the oil that your skin does produce, but it actually hydrates the skin and prevents the skin from producing oil in the first place. Um, the reviews are starting to come in and I just they are absolutely incredible I'm um, so many of you are having amazing 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 results with this and like can I just put all of you in my favorites video like honestly Oh. If you are wanting to see the reviews on this, they're available like all on Instagram. They're all through the comments on my Instagram. They're all through the comments on our brand Instagram, which is just at Nakia Joy Cosmetics. Um, they're available on our website. They're all through the comments on my YouTube videos. Like I couldn't like this is 
this is not a favorite of April. This is a favorite of my entire life. I have never been more proud of a product. I have never put so much work into a product, into making something perfect. In my opinion, this is absolutely as perfect as a setting powder gets. Um, it took so long to get this right. It really, really did. And I have never felt happier than, you know, opening up all your messages and reviews and, you know, watching your review videos and stuff that you guys are posting. I have never felt like more amazing than knowing how much of an effect this is having on your lives, how much this is building your confidence, how much better you're feeling about your skin how much better you're feeling about how your makeup is lasting like whew, it really just thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much over and over and over and thank you for trusting me um i know a lot of the time it can be it like it your money is important. You like, I know myself, like I don't like investing my money in things that I don't know hundred percent is going to just, you know, work absolutely perfect for me. And I know like a lot of the times people are like, oh, it's an influencer brand. Like, I don't know. Um, just thank you for trusting me. Thank you for backing me and for believing in me. And thank you for trying this and giving it a chance. And thank you so much for all your incredible reviews. Like you're all amazing. So yes, obviously this is a favorite, the external packaging as well. Kind of a favorite of mine kind of a favorite. Also, just quickly before we move on, we did also launch our perfecting sponges. This is one that I've just used to apply my foundation. Um, honestly, the softest sponges you will ever, ever, ever try. Like, I'm not even just saying that. Like, guys, I have tried every single sponge on the market. I have worked with these brands. I, I understand, I know, and I promise you, this is the softest sponge you will ever try. Also got extremely small pores, which means it's not going to absorb as much product and it's gonna give your skin the most airbrushed finished ever. Like. I, I promise you, I put my heart and soul into this stuff. And I did quickly want to mention this because I'm still getting so many comments, so many messages from you guys asking when the Pro Powder sets will be back in stock. They are back in stock on the website right now. So if you want them, get them now. I know that there's only limited amounts remaining. Um, and then the next restock, I don't know how long that will be. Um, so yeah. Ah, so exciting. All right, next up I have a cheek palette. Now this one I actually discovered must have only been... I don't know, a week, a week and a half ago. It wasn't that long ago at all. And I am absolutely hands down obsessed with this. So this is the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. Now, first and foremost, the packaging is absolutely insane. Like it's so beautiful. And the inside of the palette is also one of the most beautiful things I've ever laid my eyes on. But the formula of these is absolutely gorgeous. So you do get two bronzers, Although this one you could kind of call a blush as well. Three blushes along the bottom and one highlighter. Now these are not like the absolute most pigmented, like hardcore, crazy pigment, um, you know, cheek products that you're ever going to come across. Don't go in purchasing this thinking that that's what it's going to be. They are not, but the look that they give to the skin when you apply them, like, oh my goodness, it is incredible. It just, the best way to describe it is it looks like you've taken like a pure pigment color. So say for example, like this one here, rather, you know, sometimes when you apply a blush, sometimes it just causes a bit of texture to the skin, or you can sort of start to see kind of like a powdery bit of a look to the skin. The formula of this, it deposits that pure color on the skin, but without creating any extra texture or any extra finish to the skin. Like your skin will just look like it's tinted that color without adding any finish. Like it is just incredible. I love them. They melt into the skin. They're very, very easy to blend. They last all day long. Like I just, I truly, I truly love this formula. It's beautiful. I haven't come across this formula by NARS before and the colors are beautiful. They're nearly like a cream to powder kind of a finish. Like that's what the formula feels like. Um, they're just so beautiful. Like well done NARS. Like you've done so well with this. All right, next up I've got a couple of skincare products and this is another product that I have sort of rediscovered kind of ish in the last month. Um, the Tarte Chart Silk Cream. This is a day cream. It's a moisturizing cream. It's quite heavy and emollient. I love this stuff. Now, let's get a couple of things out of the way first. I cannot wear this underneath makeup if I'm wanting to my makeup to last a really, really long time. Um, I've got an oily skin type and for me, and they, this does come in like an oil, like a matte version or an oily skin kind of a version. Um, I don't love that one as much as I love this one. Um, and I'm pretty sure I have featured this in a favorites video before, but if you're after a moisturizer that you can wear from 6 a.m. in the morning all the way up until 10 p.m. at night underneath foundation, this is not going to be the one for you. And that is kind of like specifically targeted at those of you who do have oily skin like me. But as a moisturizer that will soften the skin and just make your skin look so beautiful and glowy, like when I wear this, I typically will wear this on days where I don't wear makeup. I will pop it on in the morning, like sort of after I've cleansed and everything in a shower. Um, it makes my skin so soft, so plump, so glowy, just, it, it looks like different skin. It honestly looks like different skin. I absolutely swear by this stuff. It's incredible if you apply it before bed. But yeah, for me, like I can probably, oh, 
probably get like maybe six hours out of it underneath foundation before things start to look like quite shiny and oily and greasy and stuff. Um, but yeah, if you've got dry patches or if you're a dry skin type or you're a normal skin type and you're just after a really, really heavy sort of day cream to really hydrate, this is gorgeous. And then the other skincare product that I have in today's video is this one by Sunday Riley. Now this is the satin. I think it, I mean, it's got satin written there. Is that part of the whole name? It's the sulfur acne treatment mask. This is an amazing mask for breakouts. Like, holy moly. And I haven't even been using it as like an all over mask. I've been using it as spot treatments because we had Easter, which meant hot cross buns and a whole lot of Easter eggs. And what does my skin do when I eat sugar? I feel like we've all learned now. I get terrible breakouts, like really deep rooted, like hormonal, like ugly breakouts. It just, it cracks it. It totally cracks it. Um, this has honestly been my saving grace throughout the last month. Um, I've just been applying it as a spot treatment and it's a funny green color. It is also very intense smelling. To me, it smells like eucalyptus and that sort of stuff, like menthol. Oh. It smells good. And trust me, if you've got like a big, you know how sometimes breakouts can feel like hot and kind of like pussy and just like oh this just feels terrible you put this on it's like instant satisfaction <laughs> but i've just noticed that you know popping a little bit of this on my breakouts overnight so applying it before bed going to sleep i wake up in the morning and my breakouts are pretty much gone like it completely dries them out with that said um you will also get dry patches on your skin when using this because obviously it dries the skin around the breakout as well um that is a bit of a downside to it but like, oh, I'm obsessed with this. How have I not used you before? <laughs> All right, so that is it for the hits this month, guys. Moving on to the shits, and I actually only have two shits. I feel like I've had a pretty good month as far as testing out new products. Um, there were a whole, like a massive list of products that nearly made it into this video, like products that I really did love and enjoy, but just, I always try to stick to only the products that I'm literally using every single day in these videos. Um, but yeah, this month was a really good month for testing out makeup, but I did have a couple of no-goes. So the first one being this foundation here by Becca. Um, I did upload that review probably maybe three weeks ago here on my channel. Um, this is called the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. Now I did test this foundation and in the video I did say it's absolutely not the worst foundation I've ever worn and that is still true. It is not the worst foundation that I have ever worn, but it does not work with oily skin. I had so much caking and texture on the skin, like all sort of on this bottom portion of my face. It looked really, really nasty. Make sure pores quite emphasized. Things look quite dry and sort of cracky if that makes sense <laughs> i did say in the end of that video um that i was going to test mixing it with other foundations to see if i could get a better result and i just really haven't had um any luck with it at all um yeah it's not a complete write-off you can mix it with a moisturizer i did try mixing it with a moisturizer to create like a bit of a tinted moisturizer situation it does work that way it seems to balance out um you know whatever happens with this one but yeah for me this one it, it's I'm not going to be using this I'm not going to be reaching for it with me with my oily skin she's a no-go and then secondly for the shits I've got this powder here by Essence so this is the prime and last jumbo fixing powder um it says on the back an extremely smooth fixing compact powder for a matte and natural finish all day helps to blend blush and foundation colors together fixes makeup when applied as finishing powder for all skin tones yeah mm. This does not look nice on the skin. It's This is pretty much texture in a compact. Um, I have had a lot of trouble with these pure white pressed powders. I do have a lot of trouble with pressed powders as a general rule. Um, I just find when I apply them to the skin, it, it just causes so much texture. Like it looks like all of a sudden I've applied like sand underneath my foundation or something and things are not looking cute anymore. Um, so yeah, this one unfortunately was a no-go. I was quite surprised. I generally have really, really good luck with Essence products, despite the fact that they are so ridiculously affordable. I do really like the quality of them. Um, a lot of them I do love, but this one was a no-go for me. I um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So if you do have the same skin type as me, you don't waste your money on it as well. But yes, the Prime and Last Jumbo Fixing Powder. It didn't fix anything at all, like truthfully. Didn't hold my makeup in place. I was shiny. I was cakey. I had texture. Um, no-go for me. So yes, I feel like that is everything. Pretty sure that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this month's hits and shits. Please let me know in the comments, as always, what products you have tried and tested over the last month that you have either loved or hated. I need to know. And not it's not only me that needs to know. Everybody else in the comments needs to know as well. So please pop all your thoughts and stuff down there. I hope you're all having an amazing day. I love you all so, so much. I wanted to say another huge, 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 huge thank you for all of the support of my new products. Like I'm truly just... 
I've, I've, no, I don't think I've ever cried this much in my life. Like all of a sudden I'm a complete mess. Like even like the comments you guys are leaving on my Instagram account, like about how amazing the powder is and how much it's changed your makeup and how confident you feel. Like, I'm just breaking down into tears so much. Like it's going to happen now. No, I really like this makeup. I don't want to ruin it. Oh my God. See, even when like I think about it, I get so emotional. I just want to say thank you guys. Like I truly love you all so, so much. And I just feel so blessed. Oh no, we are ruining the makeup. Um, I just feel so blessed to be in this position and I just feel so close to all of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm going to go because if I keep talking, I'm going to have makeup everywhere. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you all in my next one.